Hey everyone, so I am back with another video and today I'm going to be doing an introduction, demo, and review of the new Rowenta Curl Active Automatic Curling Iron. Now you probably have seen that a lot of companies are coming out with these sort of automatic curling irons. The difference between the one that I'm going to show you today and the ones that I've been seeing, like Conair had one, um, there's the mirror curl, is that they all have those sort of pod things that kind of, you take a piece of hair, it sucks it in, you don't really know what's going on inside, spits it back out and you have a piece of curled hair. Cool, but also a little bit frightening because you don't know what's going on in there. And I've actually seen a few videos, a few demos where people's hair gets snagged, um, which is probably never nice. So what I'm going to show you today, like I said, is the Rowenta Curl Active, and it comes in a big box like this. And as you can see, it looks like a real curling iron. And it is a real curling iron, except it has the automated buttons um, that will curl your hair and wind your hair for you. And I will be showing you that in a demo really quickly. So I just kind of wanted to get into all the features first that this curling iron has. So like I said, it is an automatic curling iron and it does have two buttons here. And I'm just going to turn it on. And with the buttons, you can rotate it different ways. So you press it one way, it rotates that way the other way, it rotates the other way. So you really have a choice in terms of um, the type of curl that you want. I personally, when I curl my hair, like to twirl my hair away from my face, um, and I just find that I get better curls that way. But if you like to do it kind of towards your face, then you just have to rotate it the other way. Um, it does come with two different heat settings. There is the medium heat, which I believe, yeah, it's about 350 degrees Fahrenheit is the medium heat. And then there's the high heat, which is about 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I like to have the highest heat I can. I have really thick hair. I have a really hard time maintaining a curl, getting a curl. So the hotter, the better. But for those with really fine hair, um, you don't want to be using the highest heat. And it's nice that there's two settings. This one heats up quickly. It says about a minute and a half um, is what it says on the box. That to me seems like a really long time. And I don't think I wait a minute and a half for this to be heated. Like I would probably wait 30 seconds and it's hot enough to curl my hair. So I'm a little confused by the minute and a half because I've just been using before that and that doesn't seem like a quick heating thing to me. Um, it does have a ceramic coating which is supposed to help protect the hair and also add more shine to the hair. Um, you can judge for yourself if my hair looks shinier than usual. Um, and it does have this clamp or grip to kind of keep the hair in place. Now, when I'm showing you the demo, I talk about how I use this with the clamp because I was having a lot of issues getting a nice curl without kind of getting that clamp mark in it. I had just never used a curling iron with a clamp before. I know it sounds weird. I just tend to just wrap it with my um, hand and let my fingers burn and then I just get the curl without the clamp. But with this one, in order to use the automatic feature, you do have to put it in the clamp and um, I finally have figured out how to get it without the clamp marks. It also comes with a nice heat protectant bag, so rather than kind of leaving it out on your table where you're getting ready, which is what I do, sometimes I forget to turn it off, um, you can just stick it in this bag here and don't have to worry about um, it melting anything. And if you are taking this traveling with you, then just shove it in the bag, put it in your suitcase, and you don't have to worry about waiting until it cools down. So I'm just gonna cut now quickly to a little video of me curling my hair, showing you how I did it, and then I will come back and kind of give you my positive and negative and overall thoughts on the curling iron. Okay, so to start, I'm just gonna bring a section about this bag. I'm really bad at measuring. I'm gonna say this like an inch a little bit more. Now you can do bigger sections, but what I found is that when I do really big sections, because I have such thick hair, the curl does not last me all day. When I do smaller sections like this, it does last all day. I don't think that's a reflection on the tool. I think this that just has to do with the fact that I have such incredibly thick hair. So to start, I'm just gonna spray it with my favorite um, heat protectant spray, which is just the Moroccan oil heat protectant spray. Just do a little spritz. Now, when I was first doing this, or first using this, I had a lot of issues with the clamp, because I'm not used to having a um, curling iron that has this clamp on it. And so I found I was getting clamp marks on my hair. So what I found is as long as the clamp is on the underside of my hair and I roll it up kind of towards my head, I'll show you, um, then I don't get the clamp marks. But you can play around. This thing rotates and you can play around with where you have the clamp. So it's kind of just a personal preference. But I've just found as long as I have it on the, um, the inner part of my hair. So I'll go like this. I just add the piece of hair, just pull it down naturally like you would with anything. And then on the side here are the buttons. So I'm just gonna 
roll that up and hold it. Now, it instinctively somehow knows where the top of your head is, so you really don't have to worry about burning yourself because if I try to make this go closer to my head, it automatically, you can see I'm trying to do it closer, it automatically kicks back. It can tell, I guess, where the tension is tightest and then it stops rolling at that point. So you really don't have to worry about burning your head or anything like that. Now to let go of it, you can either have it spin all the way back and let go of the bottom. I like to spin it out just a little bit the other way and then just press the clamp like with any curling iron and let it go that way. So I'll do that. Just let it go and you can see it's a nice big curl. Okay, so I have my next piece of hair. I've already sprayed it with the heat protectant and I am going to now curl it, make sure that the clamp is at the right part for me. So like I said, on the underside, bring it down as far as I can and then just use the nifty buttons to curl it all up. So I'm just gonna bring it back a little bit, let it go, and again, you can see, bring this one forward. So now that you've seen the demo of how I use the Abrawenta Curl Active, I thought I would get into my overall thoughts, the uh, negative aspects, the positive aspects. So I'm going to start with the negative because it's better just to get those out of the way. Um, so my first negative with it is time. I find it takes a little bit more time to curl my hair using this than it does to curl my hair with my regular curling iron. Because I usually just take a curling iron and wrap it like this with my fingers and hold it, um, which definitely you burn your fingers quite a bit with, it's just easier to do that than it is to have to take this, load it, and you know use the curling or the automatic rotation to curl your hair up. It's not a ton more time because really it's just, you know, once it's up, it takes the same amount of time to actually curl the hair. Um, but just the process of doing this does take a little bit longer. Um, I also had a lot of issues figuring out how to work this at first, and I really don't think that has to do with the curling iron. I think that just has to do with me. I've never been amazing at curling my hair, and like I said, I usually just wrap it around the barrel, so it took a little bit of time for me to figure out how exactly to use this clamp without getting a clamp mark. Now I know how to use it, and I don't have that same problem. Another, I guess, negative is that it is quite big. It's not heavy. Um, so if you were going to pack it like in a suitcase, it's going to take up space, but it's not going to add a lot of extra weight. So it's probably not something that I am going to take with me when I'm traveling um, later this month, just because I have a small suitcase and I need a really small thing. So that would be my other negative with it. Um, and the last thing is just the tightness. Um, this is a positive and a negative. The fact that it has this automatic rotation that knows where the top of your head is and kicks back so you're not going to burn yourself is amazing, but I like a really tight curl and I find that I have to twist it just one extra little bit with my hand just so it gets that really tight curl to the heads. So now on to the positives, the really great parts of this iron. The first is the burn factor without a doubt. Your fingers are not getting anywhere close to this barrel. Um, you can clamp your hair just in the middle like this. You see how far down my hair is from that? Pull it down, press the buttons. This hand can do whatever it wants to because this iron is taking care of it all. You're not burning your fingers. Something that happens to me every single time I use any of my other curling irons. Even sometimes when I use my straightener, I manage to burn my fingers. Um, the other positive with the burn thing is that it does have that kickback. Like I said, I like a little bit of a tighter curl, so I do rotate it, but even when I do that little bit of extra rotation, I'm not burning anything. And for those who are like my sister who is absolutely petrified of getting her hair burnt, she doesn't curl her hair because she's so afraid of burning her head, this would be perfect because it instinctively knows where that tension is and it just kicks back. It's not going to malfunction, it's not going to be like you're twirling so much and you don't know where it's going to be and next thing you know your head is burnt. This thing knows and it is going to keep your head protected 110%. Um, the next positive with it is, like I said, the two heat settings. Now, my curling irons that I usually use are both from the drugstore, so that could just be why I haven't had the different um, heat settings on it. But I do love that there is one for my really thick hair that I can go with the highest heat, but there's also an option for those who have much thinner hair who just want a looser curl that they can go with the medium heat. They'll still get a nice curl, but they're not damaging their hair as much as they would be if they had the higher heat on. Next are the curls themselves. I just think that these are such nice, big, bouncy, movie star curls. I don't know if that makes sense. With the other curling iron I have, it's more of um, a wave that I get with it. It's, it's nice, but it's just not these like perfect curls. Like if you can just see that curl there. 
I've played around with it, I've pulled product through it, I've had my hair curled for a little bit now, and it still is just this perfect bouncy curl. And the last two positives are, one, this does the work for you. If you were like me a couple years ago and did not know how to curl your own hair, or do not know how to curl your own hair, you just have to figure out how to clamp this thing, figure out what rotation you want to go, um, and you know, that just depends on the type of curl that you want to get, and it really does the work for you. This would have been perfect quite a few years ago when I didn't know how to curl my hair whatsoever that this would have done it. Um, the other thing I really like about this and the last positive is that compared to a lot of the other automatic curling irons that are out now, like I said before, that really it just sucks the hair up, you don't really know what's going on and it spits it back out, you have complete control of this. Um, you can rotate it as much or as little as you want, you can pull it out if something's not happening, you just or happening properly, you can just pull it right out of there. And you can take fairly big sections. I haven't used the other ones, but from the videos and the demos that I have seen, you have to use quite a small section or else it's gonna get caught up in there. Now, I don't use the biggest sections because I want tighter curls, but if you're just looking for a loose curl, I mean, you can put a two inch section in there, no problem, and it's still gonna curl it for you. You don't have to take these little like half inch sections. So my overall thoughts are I really do like this, but it has its time and its place, I think. Like I said, it's not something that I'm going to take traveling just because it is quite large, and it's not something I'm going to use if I'm in a super huge rush, um, because it does take that little bit more time. I am going to use it if I really want this nice, big, sort of Hollywood, bouncy curl to my hair. I am going to use it if I just want something to kind of do the work for me. Um, that's just really the awesome part of having the automatic curling iron. Now, this does retail for $179.99 Canadian, which I know is quite expensive. Um, but actually, right now, I believe at Trade Secret, um, me and my sister were in the mall the other day and I saw these, um, there's a deal going on until, I believe it's December 24th, so Christmas Eve, where they're going to be selling these babies for $99.95. So I think this would be a really cool holiday gift to give somebody. Um, a lot of people don't know about the whole automatic curling iron things, and like I said, this isn't one of those pod ones, so this is kind of the first of its kind. So anybody who's really into their hair, I think this would make such a cool Christmas gift. Um, or really, I mean, if you're shopping for Christmas gifts for other people, it's nice to treat yourself to something, and this would be really great for all the holiday parties going on right now. So be sure to leave me a comment in the um, down bar below. Let me know what you think about it, um, what you think of the curl, if it kind of frightens you to have an cur automatic curling iron, if you think it's something that you would want to pick up or want to receive for Christmas, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!